Hey everybody, Lanzer here. This episode, or this video, is going to be about the things I do before I pull a Vanguard. It's kind of like a pre-pull checklist, almost. And Good, good news is Endar's open, instead of Hassan. <laughs> so, that's cool. Alright, before I even look at the terminal... The, the first thing that's running through my mind is, you know, what continent am I on? That kind of gives me a preset loadout that I think I'm going to end up running. But uh, aside from that, and I'll cover that in, like, the different continent play out louds that I'll end up doing. Like, I'll do one on Endar after this, probably. But aside from that, uh, there's some things that I just a staple. I always do no matter what continent I'm on. And that is... I first take a gander at the map itself. Right now there's low pop. You can tell just because of the, the, the out of play areas. So the, the whole of Endar isn't open, which means I'm going to be funneled. And that's that's fine. It's just kind of how Connery is nowadays. So what I do is I t first take a look at where all the conflict is, where, where the fight's happening. During prime time, this whole map is open and there's multiple points of conflict happening. Here... Uh, there really isn't, except really at the Crown, and a little bit there at NS Refinery. Some some enemy pop going on, so I'll filter you know, enemy activity to see where the the concentration is. So it looks like Crossroads. And I'll look at Allies to see where our concentration is. Again, looks like Crown Crossroads, but also a little bit of both sides. So I would. I normally check to see like how far up the lattice we are, because the closer you get to an enemy warp gate, the more, the higher chance you'll be dealing with air. I uh, would prefer to go to the crown, because that's kind of a defensible spot, good place to roll out, and yeah, so I'll just re redeploy. So that's the first thing, is kind of map awareness. What's going on? What type of situation are we in, and how does that overlap with the game I want to play today? I just kind of feel like rolling out in the vanguard right now and then uh, seeing how that works. Uh, what I didn't cover in the last one, though, is the asp. If you didn't know, you can uh, you can reduce the nanite cost of a main battle tank and lightning if you asp into it by 20%. That reduces the... That reduces the cost of a vanguard from 450 nanites to 360 so it's a, a cost savings of 90 nanites every pull. So as you can see here, 360. Cool. So that's helpful to do, especially when the ticker will give you, you know, 75 as a member. I think 50 as a non-member uh, per tick. So uh, you can't just throw your tank away and expect to be able to pull that for two or three uh, before you run out of nanites. So you kind of, you still have to play smart even with that. But on top of that is the modules. So uh, oh nice colossus. So I'll, I'll get out the door to try and help that. So anytime I want to pull a vanguard, I always drop a module asset. And the one you're looking for is a mobile armor discount. So what that does is decreases the nanites required to pull a tank by an additional 30%. So that 360, when I install the module, now becomes 225, 245 plates on each side. That is awesome. That means I can pull at two, four, six, three, three and a half tanks, which means that that last half tank, I can, I just need to make sure I survive long enough for that ticker to hit once, then I'm good to go again. That's good. That That's economical. If you play smart, then that means you can pretty much play a Vanguard game all night long if you play smart and don't throw your tank away. So that being said, that's pretty much the pre-checklist. There's one last thing I do, and it, you know, consider it post-checklist, consider it whatever, but because I'm an Indar, I know the first thing I want to run, I don't see a ton of air everywhere. The tanks are kind of backed up, so it tells me that they're already engaged. So I'm going to run a stealth, which is kind of a staple I like, and also just, is it, I think it's good on Indar. So I'll run that. I'll spawn now. And when I spawn, the first thing I'm looking for 
are indicators that I'm running the wrong loadout. So if I see a ton of air suddenly come out of nowhere, maybe I'm going to want to pull a ranger next time. Or maybe I'm going to want to pull flanker. You're going to see tons of, of well not tons, but where there's two lightnings, there's probably more. So that, that tells me that the halberd is probably a good choice for the first time around. But I'm looking after that first pull, I'm looking for signs that I'm wrong and I need to adjust. And that's pretty much the gist of my pre-pull calculus. Yeah, I think that's everything. So, uh, ASP, that doesn't really change once you start. Map awareness, just check to make sure that my normal loadout, which I went over in a previous video, is good to go. Look at my Vanguard, make sure it's good to go. Implants, covered under the person. And then maybe squat up if I want to. So, because I'm, I'm not going to squat up for my play-by-play -play video, I'm going to probably keep it counter-intel. Because Sweeper HUD's not super as useful on Indar. So, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to pull now and then look for signs that I need to change from, you know, stealth to flanker or whatever. And that just kind of optimizes my gameplay over the night. And that's all I have for this video. The sort of things that I do to help myself out before I make my first pull for the night. Alright, thanks everyone. Have a great day.